In today's adventure, I went to war with one of the biggest outlaw groups in Star Citizen. Starting out in a galaxy full of thieves, pirates, and bandits, the odds were already stacked against me. From discovering hidden bases in the forest and raiding underground bunkers, to hunting down criminals deep in space, this journey would be my most challenging yet. But my hunger for revenge pushed me to accomplish my final goal by any means necessary. And here's how it all happened. Welcome to Star Citizen. Now a lot of you guys might not know this game, but just think of it as Space Day Z. It's an open world where anything can happen at any time, and the server is just wiped. So I only have one goal right now, and that's to survive. Alright, let's see where we started at. Okay, we're at Microtech. Now this is like an ice planet. I've only been here once before, I don't really know this area too well. I do know that the capital is New Babbage. And it's like a big city, but to get there, it would probably take us days walking from where we are. Uh, where we are, there is some type of shelter, it looks like, and a mining facility. So we're not completely abandoned in the wild, but uh, we need to find we need to find where these shelters are. Otherwise, things are not going to end well for us. Hopefully I don't get spotted out here, at least until I have a gun where I can defend myself. There's a guy. I don't know if he has armor or if that's just his suit. Because you can wear like undersuits and then you can wear armor. I don't know if this guy's actually geared or he's a freshie like me, but... I'm gonna just go my own way. I don't really wanna fight somebody. He might even have a gun, so don't really wanna risk it right now. Overall, it was an okay start. I had been wandering around the planet for a while now and the sun was starting to set, which was a little bit worrisome. And to make matters worse, the wind suddenly picked up, which usually meant a storm was starting. I knew I needed to find some type of shelter soon or I probably wasn't gonna survive the night. Okay, I think that's the shelter right there. It looks like this back room is pretty empty, so I'm gonna just take my chances here. If someone's camping inside here, I'm so pissed. I'm going to be so mad. I guess this is definitely the shelter. I mean, there's blood on this bed. Somebody, somebody actually has been living out of here. It looked like somebody had been at the shelter recently, but they hadn't looted everything. After a bit of searching, I was able to find a box with a cheap helmet and some armor inside. And there was also a handgun that somebody had left behind. I now had the ability to defend myself if it came to combat. Now all I needed was a ride out of this remote area. So I should be able to activate a beacon and usually they'll send a rescue ship over. That's the point of these shelters, but I don't really know where to activate it from here. It might be this... this thing back here, I don't know. Like, what? Oh, somebody's coming in. Well, he wasn't really geared, but he did have a gun. Hopefully he's just a solo. Alright, it looks like we're good. This guy only had an undersuit and a basic pistol, so he was most likely a fresh player just looking to loot like I was, but that certainly didn't mean that he was a solo. I was a sitting duck inside of the shelter, and if he did have teammates, well, they knew exactly where I was, so I quickly activated the distress beacon, and now I just had to hope that a medical ship would eventually arrive. 
I did notice that the weather outside had calmed down, so I decided to make my way outside to hide in the forest while waiting for an evac. Alright, I'm thinking we go up on this ledge right here, or maybe up on that rock, and we just post up and wait. The distress signal should be activated now, so all we gotta really do is see if somebody actually answers the call. But uh, we should be relatively safe on this mountaintop here. Now we just play the waiting game. Oh shit, someone's getting shot up. What the fuck? Holy shit. Uh, why is he turning my way? Oh, no, 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 no! <gasps> well, we're not dead, but, uh... I'm praying we didn't miss our evac. I think a storm is about to start. It's getting, like, really windy. And I don't want to be out here. I don't know what lives out in these woods, so I'm just gonna get back into the shelter real quick. And we can try calling for the evac again. I don't know if they actually ever showed up or not. Wait, is that somebody in the window? It is. He's looking outside. I think he might have called for help. I don't know if he's going to be friendly or not. That's the problem. Oh, he's still sitting in the window, and uh, there is our medic. I'm gonna give it a minute and see what happens, and then I'll show myself once they're about to take off. I don't want to head down there just yet. Oh! He just got shot! What the f- Oh my god, he's looting him. That's a fucking scummy move, honestly. Just baiting a medic down and then taking their shit. I don't have much ammo left, but I'm gonna try to take this guy out. Because I need that ship. If I don't get on that ship right now, there's no other way for me off this planet. Okay, let's go quick. Okay, I don't think he hears me. I stayed in hiding for a bit until the ship began to take off, and during this time I quickly jumped into one of the medical beds to reheal since I was severely dehydrated. It turned out that the front of the ship was locked, so for now I couldn't get into the cockpit. My only chance was to stay hidden until the hijacker eventually came out. Oh, he's coming. Okay, he's dead. No, I think he's knocked out. I don't have ammo to finish the job, but uh, I do have another idea on how to get rid of him. Hopefully he doesn't wake up, though. Where is the ramp access on this ship? Oh, there it is. Open exterior, okay. This guy's gonna be so confused if he wakes up and he's just floating in space. He actually doesn't even have his helmet on anymore, so I don't even think he's gonna survive long out there. Anyways, at least we have a ship, finally. Didn't expect to get off the planet in this way, but, you know, I'll take it. I can't complain. 
So the plan is to go meet up with my friend Dexter. He is on our corp and uh, we're going to try to basically find some type of work and hopefully get a different ship because this one's probably being tracked. So let's head over to our corp. I'm in town, buddy. Ooh, he's 30 kilometers away. I got us a ship, and don't ask me how I got it. How you get that? Committed some crimes. What sort of crimes? It's better you don't know, for your safety. Our corp was a planet of industry. It was by far the most commercialized planet in the system with factories, commercial facilities, and skyscrapers stacked on top of each other as far as the eye could see. If we were going to have any shot of finding good work and making our way up in the system, this was the place to be. My friend Dexter had just started out nearby, so I went to meet up with him and figure out what we could do for work to start earning some money. Come on in the ship, man. Where these All guys right. get a little suspicious. There's a bunch of security around. What are they going to do? Kick us out. I don't want to find out, man. My God, where'd you get this bad boy? Eh, it's a long story. I'll tell you on the road. Ah, oh, yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. So on our corp, we were offered many lines of work. We could do deliveries, take part in maintenance contracts, and help with investigations. But for us, bounty hunting is what caught our attention. We had heard that it paid out pretty well, but if we wanted to start bounty hunting, it wasn't going to be so easy. We were going to have to pass a challenge to prove to the Bounty Hunters Guild that we knew what we were doing. So with that in mind, we accepted a starter mission and began planning. They're going to give us a chance to earn your, our tracker training permit with this one, so we just got to get this guy. I don't see it on the map. Uh, I'll find it on the map. It says he was last seen at a Microtech wreck site, which is this, I think, no, no, it's not this planet, I don't think, is it? Is this Microtech? Gary I don't think B. it is. We, we're gonna have a long flight, I think. Um, if you come back here, this is the medical area. Here, don't open this door, no matter what, because let's just say it'll cause problems. Oh, you said open the door. All right. <laughs> I mean, you can open this one, but don't don't open the one behind it. It's like air. It's a uh, airlock. Ah! Uh, what the fuck did you just do? Uh, <laughs> I said don't open the door. What? I didn't open. The door. All I did was walk towards it. Are you? Did you fall Help the me! Ship? Oh my fucking- We're in hyperdrive, bro! How am I supposed to- I got sucked out the fucking ship! Oh my god, are you alive? Yeah, I'm alive. I'm flowing through space. This was a bit of a setback, but after a few minutes, I was able to get to Dexter's position and rescue him. We still had time to get to our bounty target and prove to the guild that we were ready to join its ranks. So yeah, we're in the atmosphere now. Definitely don't go diving out of the ship here, because you will not survive like last time. Ah, just put me over some water, it'll be alright. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> uh, maybe you uh, want to level out there. Is he in the sky? Oh, hell no, I don't know how to fight. Uh, Johnny, do something, shoot a missile! Whoa! whoa. I thought he was going to be, do? Do? be on the ground, I don't know how to fucking pilot. I don't know how to shoot, what do you want me to do? <laughs> put, put power into the shields or something, I don't know. Uh There's two of them. I don't think I have any guns, buddy. We might have to do the dash, man. I'm I'm leaving. I don't think we can beat them. Close the fucking back door! Why Johnny? Why is the back door open? I didn't open the, the back door! I didn't open it either. Close it. What the How do I close the back door? I don't know. Go you gotta get to the button. Don't fall off. All right, I'm going. Do not fall off, or he's gonna you're gonna die if you do. Ah, I'm going. I'll try to keep her steady, but you gotta be quick because uh, the ship's not doing too good. Oh, they're busting at me! I know. Just close it. Uh, I'm trying. It won't close. Johnny, close it. I'm dead. What? The I'm not dead. Get, get back in, up. Get in, get in. You shot me. Get in the ship, man. Fuck the, fuck the back door. <laughs> Are you shooting at him with the pistol? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is that gonna do? I don't know. 
Oh, you almost no. killed oh, me. They're, shoot, they're shooting a missile. Yo, this might be the end, bro. Oh, oh, shit. We lost another rotor. Oh. Try our work release program, earn a shorter sentence. Okay. So you're interested in our work release program? It's pretty simple, lots of fun, and teaches you a valuable skill. Retrieve a multi-tool from the call. commissary unit and proceed into one of the authorized... Hello? Yo! Look for any potentially valuable... Johnny! Where are you? Hey, brother! Where you at? I don't know. I hear you, wait. I'm coming down, I hear you. I'm up here. You see me? Where? Up oh, here. Barrio. Let's get down here. <laughs> to our surprise, the bounty hunting missions were mainly ship on ship combat, whereas we had gone in expecting to apprehend the bounties on foot. But when it came to flying and dogfighting, we were absolutely new and had no idea what we were doing. Flying around in a stolen ship also didn't help our case, and it turned out that the entire time we were trying to complete our bounty mission, we had warrants out for our arrest. Joining the Bounty Hunter Guild would have to be put on hold for now because we had to learn how to fly, and more importantly, we had to figure a way out of here. How's it going, man? I don't know. Not too good, eh? Back in Rikers. You said you'd never be back. <laughs> what was this guy looking at, eh? So here's the deal, yo. We got a lot of time. And I don't want to serve it. Well, I, uh... Hey, may or... Hello? Who is that? Huh? Where are you? You heard that, right? Yeah, yeah. I heard him. Hey, what are you doing? Where you at? Where are you at? We're at over here. Oh, coming upstairs. We're in jail. Me too. Uh, give me a second. I, for some reason, they left my body here with all my weapons. Oh, you don't say. How do you have weapons in there? I don't know. I have my entire freaking body in here. Gads! Uh, Johnny, don't call the guards. We might need this guy's help. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Johnny, should we just mine and like serve our time and get out? Hey, you must be out of your mind. You think of mining? Got to be a way out of here. Maybe down there somewhere. Tell me how to break out of here. Apparently, it's pretty freaking hard. What do you mean yeah, apparently? I'm up, I'm up for a challenge. All right, first thing you need to do is you need to go look in the window and see what the big fan code is. Eh, <laughs> window. A window. This guy's name was Titan. He hadn't ever escaped prison himself, but he did tell us there was a way we could do it if we put in the work. It all began with us sneaking towards the guard office to get a security code. All right, so there's a code. You guys have something to write down with? Uh, I think I can remember okay, that. The Keypad one zero seven zero two. What does it like? Open a door if we put it in the. Uh, no, nah, it, it turns off the fan. Eh. I don't what know. you mean that... a fan? Oh. Oh, yeah, that is a. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me, teacher. These guys are escaping. Excuse <laughs> me, teacher. Excuse me, teacher. Shut the fuck Yo, up. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go. The guards are gonna hear us. This motherfucker. Is there a pad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's right here. here. I don't remember what the code was. 0207. Get up here, Titan. Let's go. Hey, how'd you guys get up there? Just jump. Sp sprint, jump up. You're good. Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> Titan! I'm still alive, barely, but. We're waiting for you inside the fan, Titan. It says go to her? What? Ah, <laughs> uh, Titan? Uh-oh. I'm coming. The, uh, the fan may have uh, started back up. Are you guys back? Did you put the code back in? Yeah, hey, I don't think, uh, don't think I can. Maybe we'll see you in the caves, but we just gotta go. Titan, I'm sorry. 
follow me, man. You gotta be quick about this. It's no time to waste. Somehow we ended up deep in a cave system. The path was dark and full of dangerous drops, and to be honest, we didn't even know if we were going the right way, but at least we were alive unlike many of the others who tried escaping this way before us. Oh no. That could be us if we don't, if we don't make this. That was another survivor. They didn't make it. They ran out of air. We gotta move. Oh no! Look what he look what he scribbled into the fucking floor. What did he need help from? Do we ran out of air? Which is All what right. we're gonna do if we don't get out of here. No! No! Stay up there! Stay up there! I'm good! I'm good! I'm good! So. Ah. <clears throat> oh no. Ah, uh, can you turn these off? Thought we was out of the woodworks. Cannot. What happens what? if you touch it? Is that like an alarm? I'll just say if you touch the lasers, you ain't gonna see tomorrow. But uh, just watch me, all right? First one, crawl straight under the lazy. Okay, okay. Second one, these three lasers. Okay. See this little bump right here in front of me? Yeah. Do not hit the bump. You gotta go all the way left. I think I could fit under that though. Nah, that's what I thought too. But my backpack got shredded in half. All right. Just like that, but through. Now right here, got these boxes. The box, I should say. Up on the box, we jump over. I made it. Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so. See that computer? I do. The little, little monitor? What's that say? Uh, vehicle storage. And it has codes. Mm hmm. Go ahead and remember them codes. Okay, I'll remember 8727. Let's go. All right. Follow me, sir. Oh. Daylight. We made it. We're free. Ah. I've never smelled such fresh air. Oh man, this planet is not uh, very hospitable looking. There she is, the rover garage. Run, buddy. We ain't got much time. What'd I say? 0477? Oh, you got it. Get in here, man. Let's go, let's go. Close the door and open the ramp. Oh. All right, here we go. Welcome to the Space Express. Enjoy the ride. This is Jack Jack. Oh, all I'm going to say is that we're wanted men and we may have a bounty on our heads for escaping prison, so you better be ready in the turret. Escaping prison wasn't even the hard part. The real challenge was getting off of this isolated moon. We opened our maps and saw that there was an old emergency shelter within drivable distance. If we could just reach it, we might have a chance at calling for a ride. We had to get there quick though because we were marked as escaped convicts now, which broadcasted our positions across space for other players to come kill us. I would call for help now, but I already know how this ends. <laughs> we're just gonna get gunned down. Ah, uh, buddy? What? Ship! Ship! Oh, ship! No, no, ship! I'm getting the ship! turret! I'm getting the turret! You gotta get in the turret! I am, I am, I am! Does he see us? I would imagine we're probably marked. Keep going, just keep going, keep going. Don't look, give me an easy shot. Oh, he's trying to bomb us, the dickhead. Ah! Jesus Christ. Keep going, Johnny, just keep moving. We might be able to get to the shelter. I don't know where the shelter just is. Just keep going until you find it, man. Just go. We're on a fucking planet that's goddamn uh -oh. millions of square kilometers! Go, go! Oh, he just got shot! He just got shot! I'm going as fast as I can. Oh my god, he's right above he us. He got destroyed! Someone shot him down! They're probably coming after us now. Oh, go, 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 go! Is there another plane? I would imagine, yeah. No, there isn't! Is there? Are you sure? I see missiles flying. I'm, I'm hearing shit. I don't know, I don't see anybody on my radar thing. Like, on the scanner. Rog Knight. I see more missiles coming. Like, to his ship. I don't think he's dead. 
It might be the prison. The prison might have shot him because he got too close. He's not dead. You see him underneath it? He's underneath it. Okay, pull up with the minigun. Pull up, pull up. I'll... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he's under. He's underneath it. I thought he died. He's like on the far side of it. I'm under it. He's getting hammered right now. Uh, did he just try to start a ship back up? I think he did. I don't know if I'm doing damage to it right now. I, I think you. you are, yeah. Like, he doesn't have shields up anymore. What? Don't tell me he combat logged, man. Ain't, ain't no way he are combat logging in space. No shot, bro. What did... I just... he. Yeah, he did. It said he's 12 million miles away. Just seen his marker teleport away. That was only a Daisy thing. In a way. Dude, he's gonna come back. We gotta go. I just realized. If he uh, combat logged, he's gonna respawn, get a ship, and come check back. Check the map. Check the map. Where are we at? We're awfully close to the shelter, dude. Like we're very, very close. Bring into a building. We're good. Yeah, we're good. He can't push that. We should be able to hold that if we get a gun. I was praying, bro. We were in our last moments. I looked to the sky. I said, ah, God, if you're there, help us just this one time. And missiles start coming out of the sky. I, I think I see it. I, I see it. Where? You see the flashing lights? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Go, go, go. My God. Thank God, dude. So if there's not a weapon in here, we're going to have tough time uh, oh uh, okay uh all right well <laughs> we yeah, can't get in we're uh we're doomed yeah we're stuck oh she's unlocked okay oh there's a healing bed and shit oh there's loot crates that is indeed. Let's check what they got. We need to find guns, man. Uh, oh, I got armor. I have helmets. Armor? I'll, t I'll take that. Because we need to drop these prisoner suits. Uh, we need undersuits. Find undersuits. This shelter was loaded with survival equipment and medicine, but we couldn't find a single weapon inside, so there was no way to defend ourselves. Now that our vehicle despawned, we had no other choice but to call for help and hope that somebody friendly would answer. I hear a ship. I hear a ship as well. I see a ship. I see a ship. We're either dead or we're saved. We might be dead, bud. Ah, uh, he's... yeah. I think we're... Get your pride tool out. The dude seen my transmission and he... I guess it just gave our position away. Get your tool out. Get your tool out. It's out. Bro, what are, we, what are we supposed to do with this? I don't know. If he comes in the fucking airlock, start blasting him, I guess. I don't see a ship anymore. Uh, oh, he's certainly out there. I know. I just he doesn't know, know we're unarmed, armed, though. That's the thing. He's oh. coming in. He's coming in. He has a gun. He has a gun. Yo, yo, listen, bro. I'll pay you a lot of money. Don't do this. Don't do this. Let's not have a gunfight here, man. I'll pay oh you my God, whatever us, you want. I'm leaning, 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 <laughs> leaning. It's not working. It's not working. Unarmed combat. Unarmed combat. Wait, he's awful. Beat his ass, please. He has a knife, Johnny. I'm dead, I'm he's dead. dead. He's dead, he's dead, he's oh, dead. Pick me up, pick me up. Uh, I Wait. don't know how. Uh, you might not be able to. Is he actually dead? I need to loot you. Yeah, yeah, I need to Let's loot go. you. Let's go, good shake, bro, good shake. I need to, I need to, uh, I med. I have a med, I have a gun. It has a med, like, attachment. Johnny, behind you, behind you, Johnny, there's somebody. I, I'm pressing random buttons. Did he wake back up? I guess. Oh, no. Can you get to the ship? And I'm down. Nice. Fuck. How did he wake back up? I don't know. Maybe you just unconned him. Now I'm dead. <laughs> oh my oh god. Oh my. F we just needed a pistol in there, man. Hello and welcome. You have been 
placed in a cluster rehabilitation, so you're interested in our work release. I'm gonna put my head down, I'm gonna do my time. But if they ever let us out, man, if they if they ever let us out this fucking prison, I'm gonna be menace. Nobody in this galaxy is safe. Dude, I'm gonna get out. There's only way one way I'm getting out. Yeah, you're gonna work hard. Mining stone for these dickheads. Yeah. <laughs> I do hard labor for fucking six hours. <laughs> six six in-game, I mean real life hours. <laughs> I'm gonna make you a promise, bud. You work hard right now in these mines, I'll buy you something from commissary. Maybe like a granola bar. Alright, I'll get you a double dog. Oh, you like that. Alright, buddy. <laughs> Two hot dogs, one bun. You took it too far. As you might imagine, escaping the prison added substantial time to our sentence, and we didn't feel like going AFK for hours waiting it out. So we took some jobs in the mines fixing oxygen machines to reduce our time. After a lot of hard work, we finally got released and Dexter was sent back to the planet he spawned on. And I was sent back to Microtech where I had spawned earlier that day. Who's this guy? Hello? Why are you saying like that, man? Hello, hello. Now you gotta relax. How's it going? Hey, <laughs> you sitting sideways. I'm good, man. I'm good. How are you? On the train into New Babbage, I met a guy named Brian. After talking to him for a while, I explained that I was newer to the game and I was struggling to survive my encounters with other players. I asked him why most players seemed to want to shoot each other instead of cooperating and having peace, and Brian explained that there were massive outlaw groups in this game. And the areas where I had gotten attacked specifically were mainly patrolled by the Ninetales gang. Apparently the Ninetales were a nuisance to the entire system, and it was common for them to hijack, rob, and kill on sight. Looking back, I began to believe that many of the attacks I had experienced in this adventure so far were probably from this group, and I wanted to be better prepared for the next time I encountered them. Brian told me that he hated this group and I was beginning to dislike them myself, so I asked him if he could teach Dexter and I how to dogfight so that we could join the fight against these guys. Well that's not too bad. Cuddly, cuddies are good shit. Why don't we leave go somewhere where I can teach you how to fly the cuddy properly and maybe we can do some target practice. Get you, get you some wings. That would be big bro. Let me um, message my friend and let me add you and then hopefully we can meet up in a little bit and get some practice going. I met up with Dexter later that day, and then Brian gave us a ride to a remote moon where we began our training. I ain't never seen a landing that clean, man. I'm telling you right now. I guarantee you're gonna hit the first mountaintop and just lose our ship. Ah. Uh, All right, we'll see. See me, I take risks. I, I'll fucking barrel roll between the mountains. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's see it then. All right. You're catching up pretty quick. Try to stabilize your your ups and your downs. Okay. If you can try to go straight, just try to go in a straight line. Get my TIE fighter ripping through these canyons. <laughs> oh, they're doing good. I'm like watching from behind, man. Y'all are... Y'all are actually doing good. Barrel. Oh, shit. Oh, that one was cutting <laughs> close. I can't see anything because of the storm. <laughs> it is pretty bad, isn't it? Ryan put us to the test in many different terrains and weather conditions, and at the end of the day, I could confidently say we were way better at controlling our ships. We still had a lot of work to do before we could actually beat somebody in space combat, but this was a really solid start. The next day, Brian offered to help Dexter and I pass our bounty hunter training test that we had previously failed. The players we would be hunting down today would most likely be in Ninetales gang controlled territories, and it was likely that they would attack us or at the very least stop us and ask questions. To make our lives easier, Brian had stolen some of their armor off of a gang member he killed, and he would wear it to pilot the ship. This way, if we were stopped, Brian could at least pretend to be part of their gang, and they hopefully wouldn't give us a hard time. Alright fellas, so here's the plan. I have a contract here to uh, neutralize a man by the name Cornelius Gengler. Now we don't know exactly where he is, but if I check my contract manager, I'll tell you some more info. Cornelius Gengler is on HDMS Woodruff. I guess it's a base or something on Ida. Now I've never been to Ida, Brian, have you? Uh, yes. It's so, been a while, but it's, uh, I believe it's a colder planet? I want to say it's a cold planet. I could be wrong. All right, that's good because Fatty over here is going to have no problem then if we're in a cold planet. <laughs> now you are wearing the enemy's armor, but 
It's for tactical reasons. It's so you blend in. We don't want us to uh, get stopped by the Nine Tails. Because you're going to be the pilot, so if they see you with that armor, we should be okay. I could pretend that y'all are my captives, if possible. Maybe we can get by some guards that way. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, let's go get this mission done, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Wow. Uh, we... And away we go. Look at that view. Ow! You hit me! No, I didn't. <laughs> Somehow you did. Are you okay? Oh! Oh! I lost 22 HP. Just reheal. We're good. I'm closing this up. He is definitely directly in front of us. I'm gonna get in the top turret real quick. He's just sitting there. Alright, I guess we could fight him. Is he on the ground or is he... Oh, he's just... He's right there. Well, let's oh, go. Okay, hold on. There we oh, go. Oh, shoot missiles. Contact. Oh, you hit him. Congratulations. Nice job. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting. Well, that was easy. Yeah. All right, let's see what other contracts they give us. I mean, that that was actually too easy, to be honest. Damn. That was, that was pretty easy. Any dude named Cornelius doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Get <out right> now. <laughs> All right, let me open my contract manager. Hmm. As you can probably tell, the target we took down didn't put up too much of a good fight, and after checking my bounty contracts, it seemed like this was only meant to be a warm-up. The Bounty Hunter Guild was now going to give us our first real challenge. This is the one we were trying to do earlier and we fucked up. This is the one we need to do to actually become bounty hunters. 500 AU, AUEC. So I'm gonna accept Go ahead that. And share that. Yeah, I'll share that with you. Uh, should be shared right. with you. Do you have it? Yeah. Yep, yep. Neutralize Lunsky. Lunsky. Right over there. That's mighty far. That is a journey. This is fine, neutralized Lunsky. Yeah, that's not like. I think this is a real player we're following here. Heck, very well could be. Yeah, he's typing. He just typed. Ty open up your chat. He wrote, "I threw the basketball too far, and it's in space." It's literally playing basketball out there. <laughs> Easy. Uh, I found him. I'm gonna call him. Let me see what happens. Hey, yo, Lunsky. Can you hear me, bud? Hey, what's going on, bud? You have a bounty on your head. I'm not gonna lie to you now. I don't want to have to do something. Oh, yeah. I don't want to have to do something bad, but there's two ways we can go about this. Maybe you pay me off. You know, I I disregard the bounty. I tell him I didn't find you. Or, uh, well, we're going to have to fight it out. So what are you thinking? Oh, I don't know, man. I think, uh, think we're going to have to go with number two. You're going to fight it out? All right, man. Can he hear you? Yeah, he can. Yeah, he said, mm -hmm. he, said he wants to fight. Are you sure about that? Not entirely, but you know what? Prison would be a nice vacation. You know, I'm a scumbag. Let, let us board and talk to you. How does that sound? I give you my word, we're not going to shoot you on sight. Alright. Sounds good to me. Saber Raven. Is this a ship right here? He's right in front of him. What the hell is he doing out there? What is he? What is this? It's like a base out here? Yeah, it is. What is that? I don't know. I've never fucking seen this before. What the hell is this? You okay? I'm good. Keep an eye on Lonsky. Yeah, Johnny, push this carefully, dude. I don't know if he actually has a gun. What's going on, Lonsky? What'd you do, man? Well, I'd rather not talk about that. What, what do you mean you'd rather not talk about it? Uh, well, what can I do for you? Well, I, I'm not going to lie to you, Lunsky. Uh, we may or may not have gotten dispatched to uh, apprehend you and take you out. So it seems like you did something. 
I got a ship over there. Uh, what you? I could unlock it. Ship, you say? Or what'd you? Uh, what'd you do to get that ship, Blunsky? Uh, well, that's a whole other story. You don't really want to know that story. <laughs> uh, I think I do want to know that story. Uh, this guy wasn't giving us any straight answers, and we discovered a dead body nearby that he wasn't too bothered by, so we decided we should apprehend him. I wanted to get closer to do a takedown, but he knew something was up, and he began slowly going towards his ship. Hey, where are you going? Something like that. Where are you? You're trying to uh, escape, are you? No, no, no. I'm just showing you guys. Hey, don't try what? to. No, no, no. No, I'm no, 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 no cowboy stuff, Lunsky. Don't, uh, don't try to be the hero here. Left my keys. What? Unfortunately. What do you mean you left your you keys? In? He's getting just in. Under the dash. Right Shoot. Here. We got a runner! Where'd he go? How's oh, he not dead? Co red, co red, co red! Get, get in the ship, get in the ship! <laughs> this motherfucker! Quickly, boys! What the f. Dude said he left his keys in there! Not gunning shit down, he didn't die! I was lighting him up too! Oh my god, he's gone! Okay, we can catch we'll him. We'll get him, we'll he get him, we'll get him. Where's he gonna go? Ah! Go, 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 boys! Quickly, I face planted! Okay, ah. just get in a plan, just get in, I'll close everything! I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Go, 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 go. We gotta be quick. Oh no, it's desync and bad. We'll catch him, don't worry. I don't know how he didn't die. Like, he magged up in the head. He's not that far, boys. He's not that far. Nope, I've already got a lot. Oh, he's coming in hot. No! Oh. My god! He's got a much faster ship than us. I know, I know. We just gotta hopefully... Hopefully be able to play it. We gotta now. orbit. We gotta play it. Ah, uh, that's an asteroid! That's a, oh. We gotta get away from this asteroid belt. Here we go, he's almost down, he's almost oh, down. Is, is he hurting? Yeah, he's hurting, he's hurting. There you oh, go. You oh, got we him. got him, we got him! Is he dead? I don't think so. Uh, uh I don't see him. It, it's, he's dead, he's dead. He's dead? I saw him explode, but I still see his icon. You must have ejected. Oh my god, we have to catch him here. We can't let him away. It's okay. He's gotta be floating somewhere. Yeah, he definitely yeah. is. Deploying turrets? I'm gonna heal real quick. Johnny, heal up if you haven't. I'm good. I didn't take any damage. 300 meters. Okay. He's he's right there in front of us. Right, <laughs> stop. We can spacewalk. We can spacewalk out if you want. Go for it. He's just sitting there floating around us. I see him. I, mean, I, I could shoot him. Shooting him? He's knocked out? Active control neutralized. Alright. I was done with Lunsky's shit. Oh, oh, there he goes. Well, we need to go repair. Let's go dock. Yeah. Oh my god. We can dock at Grim Hex. On the way to the station, we received this strange transmission. At the time, we couldn't decipher what this was, but soon after, somebody sent out a distress beacon through space. Oh, rescue, rescue beacon. beacon. A man named KJace was calling for help from really far away. Normally we wouldn't travel across the system just to save somebody's life, but this guy had apparently been pinned down by the Ninetales, so we had to help him out. He says, Ninetales have control walking on my corpse. Hey, wait a minute. What? Ninetales? Wait a minute now. Now the story's getting interesting. Yeah, that changes everything. Oh, we're taking fire, Johnny! Oh. We're taking fire! Get out of there! What do I do? Uh, just pull away. Don't let him hit us. Land behind, like, some cover if we're gonna land nearby. We have to probably hike over. Alright, this is gonna be our hardest test yet here. Uh, it is, it is time. Is that guy's ship right outside? Uh, I think that's it, right to the left, yeah. How'd he land without getting pummeled? I don't know. I can't really tell what that is. I'm gonna check a ship first. This could be a trap, boys. I don't. I don't trust this one bit. 
Food could be with them. Can we clear it? Like check inside, or is it just a fighter? I think it's locked. This is somebody's one-man fighter. Somebody's in here. Maybe that is. Yeah, it might be his. Like that guy who called for help. How did he land it so close? I don't know. Oh! oh, oh. Shot! Shot! Shots! All right, boys. Listen, I have a lot of meds. If one of us goes down, I, I should be able to re like revive us. No, so I... just get to cover if you're getting shot. Johnny, what's the guy's name? KJ's. KJ's, are you here? Ain't seeing any survivors. Nothing up ahead. Oh, He's like something's on the ground ahead. over there behind these two containers. Uh, that's oh. him. Oh, somebody just what spawned the fuck in. is that? Whoa. Oh, get down, get down, get down. I think we're taking fire. A bunch of dead dudes right there. KJ's. I see him. He's right ahead. 33 meters. KJ's, hey, we're coming, buddy. You. Right in front of you. Wait, there's somebody around that hole. Guy. Johnny, watch out. He's dead. He's dead. Good shot. You go, man. Secure the zone. I'll pick him up. I don't feel so good. He is a nine tail. Oh, he's a nine tail. Man, I wasn't expecting the party. Hey, man, why you got nine tail armor on? Here. Those guys so got to the left. I ran back to my ship after completing the bunker, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna scoop some of these dead guys' armor," and uh, they all despawned, and then bad guys spawned, and I died. So you're not with them? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. I found a backpack in one of the crates, and I was like, "Well, I'll just throw on this armor to get the backpack." There you go, man. How you feeling? Like I got hit by a truck. Jeez, thanks, gents. Hey, no problem, man. Nice. Be careful. Let's just say that uh, we're not the biggest fans of the Nine Tail Gang. Now they suck. Okay, so KJ's told us that he was exploring this moon and he stumbled upon what he thought to be an emergency shelter. But after he entered, he got pinned down by Ninetales members and called for help. After looking around, we came to the conclusion that this must have been some type of secret underground drug lab that the gang ran. This one seemed to be pretty empty with only a few members guarding it, and although we had some weapons and armor, we found no drugs inside. I later learned that there were similar drug labs hidden throughout the system, and if we found one that had drugs inside, we could make a ton of money, and more importantly, we could cause a massive loss for the Ninetales. The problem was that the only people who knew where these labs were located were actual Ninetales members, and we had already killed all of the guys inside. If we could somehow capture a gang member alive, we might be able to get this information out of them, so we bid our farewells to KJ's and got out of there to start hunting. Look at these two jackasses. Hey, buddy. Careful. Take that armor off right now. Are you part of the Ninetales gang? A answer that. Uh huh. Let's put on the helmet, man. I'm about to draw my weapon. So the next day in New Babbage, we spotted a lot of Ninetales members taking the train. Unfortunately, we couldn't do anything since the entire city was an armistice zone, but we came up with a creative plan to kidnap one of them and get the information we needed. Whoa! Oh, oh, God. God. Big Chungus over here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Holy. Holy fuck, I've never seen someone so wide. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big boy. <laughs> Gee, look how, look how he walks. Tell me, dude's AFK. Maybe I push him into our ship. <laughs> push him downstairs. Hey, yo, yo, can elevator. we push him? Wait, wait, can we push him? Push him to our ship, fly out to space, take everything he owns. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, now you're onto something. Okay. I think he's in. Yeah, that'll, that'll do, that'll do. Yep, hangar 5? In. Right, let's go. Yeah. Go hangar 5. Yeah, we're so close, man. Closing it, closing it, closing it, closing it. Lock it, lock it, lock it. You're doomed now, bozo. Is it closed? Did you close it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's closed. closed. Lock it, make sure it's locked. I think he's back. He's oh, back. He's oh, definitely oh, back. He's oh. definitely back. It's too late, though. I don't think he can get out. Ah. Uh. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me go. I gotta go level the ship. Oh. 
Loot him, loot him, loot him. What you got on you, buddy? Oh, he's juiced. That's that's what happens when you're with the Ninetales gang. After completely stripping this guy, we revived him and began asking questions, but as you might have guessed, he didn't speak a single word back to us. At first we thought maybe he had no microphone, but we would soon discover he was just buying time and waiting for a rescue. We gotta open the airlock and we kick his dumb ass out. <laughs> He's panicking! <laughs> I think he wants to live, Johnny. Oh, we hit him with a haymaker! Uh, we're getting shot at. Oh shit! We are. Close the doors! Close the doors! <laughs> what the fuck's happening? We're getting attacked! We stalled too long. Go, 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 go! We did. Oh my goodness. We're flying, we're flying, we're going, we're going. Get us out of here, man. It looked like interrogating a Ninetales member wouldn't get us anywhere, so if we wanted to get the location of another one of their bunkers, we would have to search elsewhere. We spent some time asking around and researching, and a source eventually told us that the Ninetales had stolen a massive ship and began using it as a mobile command center. This ship was full of servers that held sensitive Ninetales data, so if we could get on board and use a decryption key, we had a chance at discovering the locations of some of their hidden drug labs. With this in mind, we made our way to where the ship had last been seen and began searching for it. It is above us? It's like an asteroid field or something. I don't remember the button. Wait, what is that? Hey buddy, I think we're uh, getting getting locked on. Uh, guys? I see it, I see it. Let's see, let's see if we can find the entrance here. That thing's got a lot of guns on it. So what's the protocol here? How do we like, how do we tackle this? We're going on a spacewalk, buddy. Come on down. Oh, wow. Leaping, like the shit's about to blow up. It's like leaking fluid from the ceiling. This place has been trash. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why am I going doing? down the ladder? I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know. Tech deck. That's going to be it. Decryption key, tech deck. Yeah. I miss having tech decks. Finger skating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Johnny, mind you, mind you, move. Nice, nice, nice. I think they're just going to kill you. I was looking through the window. I bet that's the room. Oh, the loot is dumbass. Give me that. He does look kind of geared. This looks like a tech room. Oh, well, I think I found it. I found it. Where it was in that first oh. first room on the right. It's this little this little key right here. Encryption key, okay. You want to grab it? Yeah, I could grab that. And it says, new objective. Insert into key into server. So right here, right? I mean, these are servers. It's a server rack right here. Does it allow you to? Uh, no. Oh. Oh, oh. this guy, guy out back. He's deceased. Oh, there's another one. Where? I don't know. I heard another one. Dead? another one back there. There's another one. There's another one out here. Oh. Up top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when you got him. I bet that's the server right here. Yeah, I got it. I'm inserting. All right. Now what? Oh, data transfer complete. Destroy the black kite. Alright, right, let's get out of here quick, yeah. Welcome aboard. Good work, boys. Oh! There she goes. Good job. Nice. Off we go home. Off we go.
The data we recovered from the ship was incomplete, but we did manage to find the location of one single bunker. It was located on the remote moon of Selen, and from the information we had, this bunker was supposed to be fiercely defended. Last time we had almost got shot down by a far smaller bunker, so we were going to need a bigger ship for this mission, and we were going to need something that would pack a punch. Fortunately, Brian was able to call in some favors and borrow something a bit more suitable from his friends. We now had everything we would need to deliver one final devastating blow to the Ninetales. All we had to do was execute our plan. Okay, get ready. Oh shit, they're shooting! Shot at? Yeah, 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 I see that. We're taking fire. I'm just gonna eat some of the damage. Get yeah, ready yeah, yeah, I'm getting ready. Oh! Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good! Somehow! We're okay. Let's go while they're focused on him. Alright, let's go. Once we arrived, we noticed something was terribly wrong. The local security forces had beat us to the bunker somehow and they were fighting against the Ninetales. We were probably too late to get anything of value out of this, but we decided to join the fight anyway since we had come all of this way and we wanted to get rid of these guys once and for all. That back there. I see one, yeah. That is Ninetales, I just saw his helmet. Ooh, they're, they're tanking, bro. These guys are stronger than the last bunker. Watch out. They're around the corner to the right. I think I wounded one. Killed one. Behind you, Brian. Brian, behind you, behind you. You good? Yeah, yeah. I can save. Oh, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. I gotta heal. These guys are crazy, man. I hit one. I think that's them. Don't, yeah, we got it. Let's, let's, loot, let's loot and go. We gotta loot and scoot. Johnny, get the uh, surprise package ready. It looked like the gang had moved their drugs out of the bunker before the raid, but they left behind a ton of weapons and attachments. We filled up our bags as much as we could and got out of there before Dexter flew over and wiped this bunker off of the map for good. Uh, Johnny, the cops may get caught in this crossfire. Mm-hmm. Well, I ain't too favored with the cops. That's all I'm gonna say. Just get prepared. Johnny, what's the... What's the ETA? All I'm gonna say is you should probably get out of there, buddy. <laughs> We're getting out of there. You should probably get out of there real quick. Filthy fuck nine tail, man. Going down. They're gonna learn their lesson this time. Hey, nine tails. All right. Uh, I got radar lock on me, buddy. Drop the payload, drop the payload. Bomb has been dropped. That's about as direct as it gets, buddy. That was a good shot, Johnny. Get out of there, man. Come pick us up. Alright. We're good. Take off. And just like that, we were able to inflict a small but painful hit on a massive criminal organization. People would hear about this and we would begin to make a name for ourselves in the galaxy, but we were now officially enemies of the Ninetales faction, and they would likely kill us on sight. But this didn't bother us because we knew there were other people out there that would join us in the fight to take them down. Alright boys, today was good work, but uh, let's just say the Ninetales isn't going anywhere. Our work's only just begun, but for now, uh, Brian, you need to go get rid of that ship if you can. Maybe hide it somewhere. I got some people I can take it to, and they'll take care of it for you. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, boys. Thanks for the help, man. We'll uh, team up again soon. Till the next time. If you see the Nine Tails, let us know. Call us. Fly safe.
He's a good guy. Into the starry skies of Star Citizen. Stay safe out there, man. Stay frosty. Goodbye, Brian. Until next time. We'll never forget you. What should we do now? I don't know, man. Let's just see. Let's just see where we end up next. I don't really know. I got a few ideas. Take a seat. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. This was the first time I ever played Star Citizen, as you can probably tell, but I truly enjoyed every minute of the game, and I think it has good potential for stories in the future. 90% of the gameplay you saw was organic gameplay, except for the first 10 minutes or so, which was meant to be like a cinematic intro into the video, and a few other cinematics sprinkled throughout. This was my first time in years uploading a different game, so I don't know how the video is gonna do, but if it does decently well, then I will definitely upload a part 2, and maybe even a whole series of this. Anyways, I appreciate all you guys' support from day one. Thank you, and I hope to catch you in the next adventure.